Uh, tell me, what was your, your take on the game today? I think it was a fair result. I'm pleased with our performance. Uh, Derek himself will be disappointed with the goals that we conceded, but that can happen. But I think overall, we, we you know we deserved a point. They could have snatched that the air now makes a good save. We could have snatched all three points, you know, with uh, you know the ball that run under Jamie Langford's foot and Stephen Anderson's great header and and Stephen McLean nearly gets on one. So I think overall, you know, both managers will be happy with a point and I think it is the fair result. I felt that we definitely at least deserved the point. I felt that one 0 we were comfortable, probably the the better team in terms of we look lo- uh, more likely to score and then obviously when they scored the game changed a bit and second half was probably even um, but we were just uh, unfortunate to go in one all at half time and um, on the whole I still think we had the better chances so we are a little upset that we didn't get three points but we'll uh, take the point like I think it was Clark Robertson, you know, uh, misplaced the pass and he's, he's on to it and he's stuck it away well and he just keeps, uh, you know, scoring goals and, and long may that continue. Yeah, they were good. he was getting a bit of stick for not scoring against them but um, that's three and two now so it was another great finish uh, from him today. When Dundee United winning 5-1 today, where does that put us in our chase for, for fourth place? Well, it means that, you know, that they have got, uh, you know, five points advantage now but there's still three games to go. It does put us a point near Inverness. But the main thing we've got to do is try and pick up as many points as possible. So I think with the two games that we played, four points out of six, you know, after the split is a good return. To come here, there's not many teams come here, and that's twice we've got draws here this season. And, uh, you know, this one, it wasn't luck. It was uh, it was well-deserved. So I think we've got to be, take the positives. And listen, if we fall short and don't don't pass on the United, you know, that, that's so be it. Fair play to them if they get more points. But... We've got to make sure that the performance and the level of performance is maintained now to the end of the season. Played a different position today, like um, I played right of a tree, I normally play sort of if we play two, two in the middle or the deeper one if we play three, but the manager asked me to play on the right today, so I just worked hard and done the, the, the best I could do out there. Uh, and Nigel's been waiting patiently. Uh, you know, he, he's been left out you know, for a few weeks, but he's been doing really well in training. Uh, if you look at it, uh, Michael O'Halloran took a knock yesterday, didn't want to risk him. So Nigel obviously gets a chance, and I thought he'd done really well. Uh, Padge came in last week, and um, basically we would have kept him on, but we had him and Dunny on yellow cards, and we're just a wee bit concerned at one more tackle from either of them, and, and we could be looking at a red. So, uh, you know, Padge wasn't brought off in terms of you know, his performance because I thought he was excellent. You good, Danny? You kind of playing for your cup final place now? Yeah, definitely. Um, try my best to get in the cup final team. And, uh, Gary Miller and Tim Clancy trying to put you off there on, on the side. What can you tell me about them in the dressing room? Yeah, uh, two, well, two of my better friends, so yeah. um, two good guys. Yeah. Good yeah, no. yeah. Sure, All right. yeah. Thank you. <laughs>